Hello and welcome. So I've pulled the first layer of your cards and we will um, be clarifying and pulling some advice from the universe as well. Um, but first, we've got your tarot cards here. Um, the tarot of mystical moments and then I pulled an oracle of the mystical moments for an overall energy and we got this beautiful mermaid's love um, this is about um, a beautiful love like a perfect match um, they are as you can see like he's grounding and protecting her um, he's holding her hand there together they are stronger together basically um, even though they come from different worlds it makes sense so um, and then under the deck we have the page of cups so this is definitely um, about an emotional attachment there could be an offer being made so um, the heart of your reading, we had the very first card out, is the Queen of Cups. So she um, is very loving and nurturing. Um, this could talk a lot about your intuition being at an all-time high right now. You're being very intuitive, tapped right into your um, your your emotions as well because water represents our emotions but having the queen of cups and the page of cups I feel like there is definitely um, a lot of intuition heightening going on right now especially for Pisces season um, so we have the chariot where your willpower is really heightened now as well it's kind of like you're taking the reins and going for um, whatever it is that you're going for. We have the Eight of Pentacles over here, which is um, devotion to hard work. Just um, really putting in that hard work. Um, we are a little bit withdrawn here, um, kind of indifferent or withdrawn with this Four of Cups. So this is that... Um, Kind of your emotional part you're emotionally withdrawn at this time maybe you're just trying to really go for putting everything in you can with your work um, and then here you are at the um, the bottom part of the heart of the reading where we have the queen of cups now um, this would be your um, your energy there that fire um, And the fire in us can make us have that willpower to push ahead and work very hard for something and strive for our goals. The fire in us can also ignite that passion um, for our emotions and loving. So, um, and then here we have the emperor. Um, this is also, you know, another willpower card. This can represent... Um, a father figure, a boss. It can also um, represent the other half of your counterpart, like your divine masculine. Um, but let's go ahead and get some more clarity on this. Wheel of Fortune. So things are definitely moving now. We have the Chariot and the Wheel of Fortune. Um, let's keep going. Oh, wow. Then we have two of cups so this is a union um, almost like this like this um, perfect union um, 
where each person brings um, the same amount of mutual effort into that uh, partnership. It doesn't have to be romantic, but it certainly can. Um, I do want to put this this way because this did want to come out in reverse. So this could be um, the reading, the point of the reading could be a heads up on um, if there is an imbalance in that union because maybe there is more effort put into the pentacles at this time instead of emotions. You know, if you're withdrawing from your emotions and focusing more on work, maybe there's bringing an imbalance. And you definitely want to keep that balance um, to keep that relationship mutual. Um, let's go ahead and keep moving. And we got movement. <laughs> so things are definitely moving. Um, this can represent the arrows of love, like communication. There looks like there's an offer coming in. So, um, you know, maybe you're just... Um, Furthering your education or working really hard for a promotion, just work, repetitive work, work, working all the time. Uh, I mean, you're at least expecting um, someone to, you know, really tell you how they feel. And let's see what's under here. Oh, my gosh. And then under the deck, we have celebration, the four of wands. This is the 1111 card. Um, definitely can represent marriage it fours talk about a pause so um, it could be you know a pause for celebration um, but it is kind of the wedding card or the marriage card as well that's clarifying this um, well the page of cups that offer being made so there might be a proposal um, Wow okay so let me I'm going to go for um, a feather and we'll get um, a card from the crystals and the advice from the mystical shaman oracle. I'm almost feeling like with because we have two queens with two different energies um, this might be a you know like a sister relationship things like that that partnership um, however um, what I was tr starting to say was the the queen of cups coming out as the heart of the reading um, you know that could note the intuition is heightened um, but it also could give us um, you know spirit telling us to tap more into the Queen of Cups energy so we're tapping into our emotions unless we are too much in our emotions and feeling like we need to protect ourselves and withdraw so let's see what the feathers say I definitely know, you know, during Pisces season that intuition is heightened, but also emotions. Um, it can be a, a deep, hard time because it's like the the energy of the universe is forcing all of us, not just Pisces, um, but all of the signs to feel <laughs> more. Um, flicker is the bird. Um, new rhythms are coming into your life now. You are encouraged to trust and adapt. Well, there's definitely movement coming in and the Wheel of Fortune's turning, so that means change is coming. You're encouraged to trust it and adapt. That's that's pretty um, straightforward, right? So, I want to get a crystal card. I love these. They really seem to tap into 
the reading really well. So let's see what we can get. empathy, compassion, and communication. So like I was saying, you know, if we need to tap more into our Queen of Cups, that would be to be more empathetic and nurturing, um, having compassion. Uh, communication is key. With the blue Argonite, you will definitely send the message. Blue Argonite activates your throat, third eye, and heart chakras, allowing you to communicate from a whole and centered place while the stone instills hope and inspiration. This crystal enhances your ability to empathize and show compassion for others, fostering authentic connections. Blue Argonite's communication skills also carry across when you are communicating with the spirit realm, cultivating a calm and relaxed place or space for even more clarity to come through. And this can help Capricorns um, and it is good for um, grounding it, we have the earth on there as well so possibly um, the need to be more in our queen of cups energy one second here oh shoot Oh my goodness, why does it keep doing that? Um, we're needing to be in our uh, Queen of Cups energy. Showing that compassion and stuff. Maybe um, the fiery energy is what propels you you know to get that work done or to work very hard and you're kind of tapping out of the emotional part and that could in a sense bring an imbalance sorry about all the distractions here okay so um let's see what the medicine is or advice from the universe because with the emperor um, mixed with our fiery if the emperor is representing your energy we can be a little bit too stern and not have that empathetic um, nurturing side But it looks like there is definitely communication coming in. The ancient ones. Maybe communication from your ancestors. All right, I wanna see. So the ancient ones beseech you to examine your attitudes and actions and be sure that they are of highest integrity. Not forgiving an ancestor or yourself is keeping you from the freedom you seek. Remember, this is no longer your karma. You can break the chains that once bond you to the family drama 
and be free of your generational curses. Forgive the ones you need to release. Honor your biological ancestors by light, lighting a candle to them tonight. So, examine your attitude and actions and be sure they are of highest integrity. Is... Um, try not to be very rigid or harsh. Um, try to embody the Queen of Cups energy. Um, I mean, you're definitely in your willpower, um, but it looks like there is a great love here that um, is really needing to stay mutual for um, for that to thrive. And to do that, it would be um, just to be more loving in that try to get through the Pisces season and um, what did we have here you know like new rhythms are coming into your life you are encouraged to trust and adapt And this mermaid's love, um, I really liked, you know, they're from different worlds, uh, but they are complete together. It's a perfect union. Their differences make them stronger and balanced. They support each other in their own way, but always from a place of respect and love. Um, so maybe this is talking about the differences too. Maybe... Um, you're very fiery and they are very um, empathetic so maybe that's why it works um, I just put this in reverse because that's kind of the way it came out um, but this is um, the only thing that was the only other negative aspect of this reading is the um, this withdrawn energy here so Maybe things are moving faster. You're wanting to focus on your other stuff and that's causing you to withdraw, but it looks like things are changing. So trust it, go with it. Um, it looks like you're in good hands. <laughs> it looks like you're being protected and grounded and um, really beautiful. So I hope this helped bring clarity and um, if you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe so you'll know when I am back on again. And with that, I will see you in the next one. Thank you.